This is just melting, right? I just gave you the answer, but this is a solid piece of ice melting into a liquid form of water here, okay? So we are calling this name of phase change melting. And water's not the only thing that melts, right? Everything, every element melts. Every element, when heated to a certain temperature, what's that temperature called again? It's called its melting point. And it's called its melting point because it goes from a solid to a liquid, all right? Okay, this next one, we're going from a liquid to a solid. Here's a great example using water. Going from a liquid lake to a solid. The solid form is ice, right? Lakes and rivers a lot of time freeze over in the winter. So this is just a phase change. Nothing is actually changing at the chemical level of the water. We're just changing phases or changing states. So we're going from a liquid to a solid. Our particles are getting closer together. They're slowing down, right? We're going to call this exothermic. And if you can't figure it out based on these particle diagrams, again, go up here and refer to your drawings that you did earlier. But I highly encourage you to be able to look at these and again, notice, okay, our particles are more spaced out here. Here, they are more compact and they are slowing down. They're slowing down. And you can tell by that, by the number of little lines that they have, right? So you can see here, the solids have one little line. That just means there's some movement. Liquids have two little lines. We're just trying to show the kinetic movement here, okay? So they're moving a little bit faster than the solids. And then if you look down here at the gases, they've got three lines because they're zoom, zoom, zooming around, right? Okay, what do we call this phase change where we go from a liquid to a solid? What is that called? Well, we call that freezing. We call that freezing, okay? Liquid freezes into solid form. On here, I've got a fun one for you to watch too. Well, just when you think that you're frozen over, you might not be. <laughs> Okay, how's this next one? We're moving from a liquid to a gas. Our particles are moving apart even farther. They're getting faster. So we're calling that an endothermic energy change because they need more, they're taking in energy, right? It requires more kinetic energy for them to escape the liquid phase and go to the gas phase. And what do we call that? Here's a little image. This is a boiling pot of water, okay? Take the lid off and boom, you get all that steam. We call that vapor, all right? So the term we're gonna use here is vapor vaporization, vaporization. And there's actually, um, did I spell it wrong? Yeah, I did spell it wrong. Um, there is two different forms of vaporization, and I just want to make note on this real quick. We have, um, all right, there are two forms of vaporization. The first is good old-fashioned boiling, um, where we actually are supplying heat, and we are bringing the entire liquid to the boiling point, where all of that eventually is going to turn into steam. And then we have something else, I'm sure you've heard of it before, called evaporation evaporation and evaporation is the spontaneous vaporization of liquid to gas without that heat energy being applied to it so you can think of this as a puddle on the ground or if you spill a little bit of water on the counter right you don't necessarily have to clean it up because you know that that's going to evaporate into gas Right? It doesn't just disappear into thin air. No, it actually turns into gas. It vaporizes into water vapor. All right, so these are two different types of vaporization, but the term that we're going to use all the time, instead of gas from now on, like turning into gas, right? It's not always boiling, it's not always evaporating, is vaporization, all right? This is a term that you need to know. It will be on your quiz.
Next one, we have gas going to liquid. We're just reversing that last one where we were vaporizing, right? And you can tell by these particle diagrams, our gas particles are moving towards a more organized and closer space together state, right? And they are slowing down. So is this endothermic or exothermic? We are releasing energy here, okay? We're going from gas to liquid. We're releasing, we're getting rid of all that, you know, a lot of that gas is energy. We're releasing to it, it to the environment, right? Think of the arrow, it's going outside. So we're gonna call this exothermic. All right, and the name of this phase change, let's see if you can guess it by watching this video. Did you guys ever see this where you have a cup of water and then you pick up your cup and it's kind of slippery? What is that called on the outside? Well, that's called condensation. That is when gas water vapor in the air condenses into the liquid form. So the water vapor that exists in the air is coming into contact with your cup and it is cooling down, it is slowing down, it's releasing energy and it's turning into liquid drop it, droplets on your cup. That is condensation. Examples of condensation are, you know, if you take a shower in the bathroom with the door closed and you take a really hot steamy shower and you get out and the mirror is all foggy, well, that steam, which was vapor, right, water vapor, condensed and turned into tiny little water droplets on the mirror, okay? So that's going a gas to a liquid. Also, you ever walk outside in the morning, um, going to catch the bus for school, and the grass is wet, but it didn't rain last night, but there's dew or like little drops all over all the leaves. That is the same thing. It cooled down, but it didn't rain at night. So where did that water come from? Well, it condensed from the gas form, the water vapor form, which is just in the air all the time, to a liquid form, liquid droplets on the leaf. Okay, next up we have gas going to solid. So this, let's go back up. Well, actually, let's first look at our particle diagrams. We have gas very loosely organized here. They're moving super fast to a super condensed version of it here where we have slowed down quite a bit. We're very neat and nice and organized now. What do we call that? Is that endothermic or is it exothermic? If you're still struggling, you can go back up and look. We're going from gas, super high kinetic energy, all the way down to solid, which is super low kinetic energy. We are losing energy, so we're exothermic. We're exothermic here. We are giving off all of that kinetic energy that the gas has when we're moving to a solid. We have to lose a lot of energy to slow down. Exothermic. Okay, and here is a video I wanted to show you. Okay, so I need to preface this with the fact that this might look like we are freezing, like freezing water um, going from liquid to a solid, but we're not. It's actually water vapor from the air is jumping the liquid stage and creating these little snowflake frost popsicles, okay? So you can see there's no liquid actually involved in this at all. It's just that cold where we are losing that amount of energy. We're jumping all the way from the gas to the solid stage. We're losing quite a bit of energy here, okay? We call this deposition, okay? Deposition. You can look at this word right here, deposit. Deposit. What do you do when you deposit money? Some of you might have never experienced this before, but when you deposit money into your bank account, you're putting money into it. Okay, so you can kind of think of, you know, we are actually forming something here. We're depositing. We are taking these particles and depositing them down into a solid form that we can touch and feel. Okay, so that's where how you can kind of think about this one. Deposit. There's the root of the word there. 
Okay, and then last up, we have one of my favorite ones um, because it's rare, but it does happen. Um, we're going from a solid to a gas, okay? We're jumping over that liquid stage, yeah? So we are taking in a lot of energy to do that. We need a lot of energy to make this jump, okay? So what is that? Well, it's endothermic. We're taking in energy, okay? So here is a video of some dry ice. Dry ice is the solid form of carbon dioxide, CO2, okay? And it is jumping over its liquid stage because its liquid stage is really, really, really tiny. If you remember back to that um, table we were looking at last week on the math practice, we are jumping over the liquid stage and we are subliming right into the gas vapor stage okay also if you remember that dq that we had last week about the iodine that was in a flask you guys remember it had that purple looking vapor that was in a corked flask well that is because iodine is one of the other things that sublimes so this is called sublimation sublimation um Iodine is one of those things that sublimes. We have a solid state and it sublimes really, really, really fast, really quickly into the gas stage, which is why we see that really pretty purple gas vapor, yeah? Okay, so that is it for this review worksheet. So what I want you to do now is submit it and the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna have a button up here in the top right-hand corner that says turn in. So I want you to turn this in to me um, and it'll take you back to Schoology. You just have to give it a couple seconds to think about it and then you'll hit submit once you're back in Schoology and the pop-up comes up. Okie dokie. Um, we're going to have a quiz on Monday. So I hope you filled out this worksheet pretty well um, following my video. Um, you might be able to use it on Monday. I'll see um, how we're all feeling about that and if everyone got it turned in or not. Um, okay, so again, just remember, review this, and remember that you can access this. After you've turned it in Schoology, you can go to your Google Drive and access it right there. They, um, Kami makes a folder um, that has the words Kami and Schoology in it, so you can always find it. And then your document should be in there with all of your edited annotations that hopefully look a lot better than mine because mine's kind of laughable. All right, anyways, have a good day, everyone, and see you soon. Aloha.